President Obama's favorite novelist, Toni Morrison, says she can't wait for the day when cops stop ignoring all this white-on-black rape and start arresting white people for, uh, and convicting white people for raping a black women. Well, that day is not today, the first day of Black History Month, because today, interracial rape is a black thing. Rachel Bush is a ballroom dancer, a yoga instructor, an outdoor enthusiast, and now a title she wasn't planning on, a survivor. It was the most horrific experience of my life. Four weeks ago, Rachel says she met this man, Donovan Micah Jones, at a Montrose coffee shop. He was well-dressed, soft-spoken. She says they hung out with friends twice the last time. January 16, 2019, I'll never forget the date. Rachel says they had a few drinks, and then he offered to let her crash on his couch. But she says that's not what happened. He tried to rape me, and I said no. He just started attacking me, and I went unconscious. He broke the cranial bone, the orbital bone, this bone, my palate. Also, her cheekbones, jawbones, and several teeth all shattered. Somebody called 911, and he did carry me outside onto the concrete. She was in the hospital for a week. Jones was arrested and charged with aggravated assault. Rachel doesn't know if she was raped, but HPD says their special victims unit is investigating this as a sexual assault. Jones does have a criminal history, including armed robbery. There is always going to be a wolf in sheep's clothing out there. And we, as women, need to do our research before we get entangled with the wrong person. Sorry, Tony. No white on black rape today, but we still have 28 days left. Please, sir. I want some more. In Black History Month, maybe you'll have some better luck in the next couple of weeks. Maybe that will help not make the black kids angry.